Now that I got those holes drilled, we can take these nylon inserts. Sometimes they're called drywall anchors, and we can just put them right there in the wall. It gives that screw something to hold on to, so it's not ripping out the drywall after we screw it in. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta take these little uh, nylon adapters that are gonna fit over the hoop and we gotta put them in here. This is the support that's actually gonna hold it off the wall and then hold it off the ceiling and we gotta push that in here. Now the way they say to do that in the instructions is to take the insert, put it on top with that bolt sticking out and then take a hammer and drive it in. It said you can use a screwdriver, but I'm under the impression that this bolt looks pretty stout. So we're just gonna try to drive it in, see? So you're gonna put that into there. And just like that, we're in. Now that we've established whether or not I am missing a screw, the next step is, now that we've got those nylon sleeves in there, we're gonna take our little base piece and put one of these, I think they're about I don't know, they're about an inch and a half, inch and three quarter screws. Put them through the hole, through the nylon sleeve. We're gonna do that twice here before we hold up the ring and get an idea about where the, uh, where the ceiling support has to go. So now we're gonna get that in there. And this is where we speed it up. Part of the process is dropping a ton of stuff. All right, now, as Daft Punk would say, one more time. got those two wall supports in right here. The next thing you do is to find our ceiling support. So it's going to be that same measurement we took earlier, 17 and a half inches off of that wall. But then we want to figure out how far away from the, how far away from the, north, the south wall it's going to be. So I'm going to take a little measurement right here by putting my pencil on top of the hoop, rotating it up, and giving myself a little reference line. All right, so that's as far out as I'm gonna be. Now we're gonna take a measurement on 17 and a half inches. And say it's right there. All right. Now we just gotta draw those two come together right here. And that's our mark. And now it's the same thing again, where we just drill the holes. We just drill the holes um, and then get our, get our anchor up in there. Like I said, I don't know how old this kit is, so it's a very good chance that these nylon inserts are older than I am. I'm just kind of excited because that makes this kit uh, uh, period specific to the house. I'm making an inside swing. So one thing to watch out for when you're uh, going into old drywall like that is you might run your anchor all the way through. And if you do, it's just handy to have a couple of extra anchors around the house. So for instance, I've just got a bunch of, I just got a bunch of just generic anchors that'll fit a screw about this size. And it's great to have them around because 
you know, you never know when you're gonna be hanging stuff, and sometimes you can't exactly find a stud. You can use them to hang things like hooks and all kinds of stuff. They're they're easy to pick up. You go to any home improvement store, you can just get a bag of like 20 of them. They'll last you still last you longer than you think. Yeah, so that's actually much more secure. We had a blowout on that last one, and what happened was the screw was going into it, then it pushed the anchor all the way through the drywall on the ceiling. There's not a lot of support behind it, so we put that slightly bigger drywall anchor in there, and now we've got a nice, secure post up here. Last thing to do is take these little inserts, you put them up in there. It's gonna be a little harder to get that one to stick up in there from the ceiling, so I'll do the one on the wall first, but once you get them in place, you get the bolt to go through. Before you know it, you're done. Hey mom, do you think... Can we hold it? Yeah, you think you could jump up on the stool and I'll stand on the bathtub? And we just gotta hold it so it doesn't have a ton of slack in it. Me out on the bathtub. Only can you please jump on the stool real quick so we can do this before the bathtub breaks? It's gonna look at a different stool, so we can each have one. I really have to stand right here. Impressed how sturdy that one is. Oh yeah. Because you know bolts are good oh. to touch. Well, I'll tell you what, as much as I'm gonna instruct them not to. <laughs> as, much, as much faith as I have in the one. Oh, I forgot my screwdriver. Hold that, babe. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Okay, I'm just gonna get them all loose in real quick so that we can. Maybe you should put on this side first. Oh, well, those are coming out. There you go, there's one. There's two. Okay, cool. Well, you can let go, I think, now. Okay, let me smile. I was gonna, I was like, I'm gonna write a cute post about how he does the stuff I asked for. And then I look up and you're like, <laughs> Now we pan down on the camera, get our last shot, and say farewell to our farm family and fans. Alright folks, so that's all there is to it. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not a structural piece, you're going to want to be careful, you don't want kids to swing off of it and things like that, but uh, no, this is a great little, it's a great little shower hanger. Um, all that's left now is for Olivia to go and find her dream shower curtains so we can make this whole corner look pretty fancy. Um, Olivia actually picked out this really great shower curtain um, from uh, Hearth and Home. Uh, really, really nice. And then we got a little plastic curtain for the inside. Um, with our custom fit uh, shower, shower head, we've got a handheld shower head that we kind of, we, we, we made our own little attachment device so that it attaches to the actual hoop. And then the handheld shower head goes inside the Hold the attachment that came with the shower head, and then we've got this hose that goes down to the handheld floor mount, uh, floor mount spigot. So everything hooks up. We've actually used it a couple of times by now. It works really well. We're really happy with the way it looks, and we're really happy with the way it works. Um, it's, I mean, now that this is kind of one of the only pieces left in this bathroom, um, we have a couple more projects like the shelves over here the column, the floating shelves, and the tile, but this was a big thing, and getting this done is really exciting for us to bring function to this bathroom. So, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions about this, it's just a really cool project and really easy to do. So if you're looking to do something like this, if you wanna add a uh, shower curtain to a standing bathtub, or even a bathtub doesn't have any type of shower curtain or doesn't have like another wall to put a rod across to, 
let us know because we'd love to help you answer any questions about it. Like I said, it's really easy, it was really fun, and Olivia and I did it probably in about 30 minutes. So, um, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. What's next, Dee? What's next, Dean? Tell us all the cool things that you've done. Well, I once time, I once caught a rocket ship in my teeth. Flew all the moon. And this is where we speed it up. We cinch it down. No, no, it's an important part of the process is dropping a ton of stuff. Make some manly noises. So, do you have any questions about what we did to install this or where we got it from? We don't know. Bye now.